Now the project we're making today is from this set, which is set 16 of the kimono. That's the main big design there, but you can get toppers and background papers and all sorts. Well, I'm going to uh, include those, incorporate, nay, incorporate those into a project. And the design I'm using is this template set, screen set 2. Now you could use it for any card set, but this is a nice folding card. Uh, and what you do is print off onto the cheapest paper you can uh, and I've just put a little bit of masking tape hold it on an A4 piece of card whatever card you are using but just a couple of tips what you have to do first of all working on your green mats is where the dotted lines are just score down there of an embossing tool both sides and then cut it out cut it out once you've cut it out, you will end up like this. There's the template cut out. Now I did it onto a silver holographic card. Now you could use it where it's uh, like a piece of black card or red where it's the same colour both sides. This is actually holographic silver and just white on the back. But that'll become apparent why I've done that. So that's going to be the inside of my card. That folds over there, that folds over there. So you've got one and then two. So, what we're going to do is, that is there, and you can see I've also used that with a piece of background paper. And I just used the ends of the template, cut down here, then reused it to form these. These are going to be the front, so I've done the front on number one, and I've numbered it number two, sorry, number two goes with number two. And number one goes with number one. Obviously, shut your face, you. You're giggling that. Just make sure those fit on there perfectly, which they do. And then you can go for sticking those down. This is the outside of the card that I'm doing. This is just one technique, one way of doing it. Just sticking that down there. And that's going to go on the front there like that. Make sure it's in the right place. There we go. And now I'm going to do the other side. This one's going to overlap. So a little bit of glue on here. I can either stick it on the back of the backing background paper or I've just done it straight onto the glue here. Make sure you've got this the right way around and that's overlapping. So there you go, that's stuck over there. So that is the basic shape of the card and you open it up. So you've got the background paper. If you want, you could stick one on the back there, but I don't see the point actually at this stage. So you can decide then which will open first. And this is this side here. So what I've done here, I've made a little kind of card and I'm going to stick it in the middle, but overlapping. So it'll be like a little, little topper. Good if I had it the right way around. I wasn't going to say, but... Well, it's not like you not to say. Well, I knew you'd work it out. Yeah. So there you go. Stuck that down, stick it down, and that will be a little bit of a handle for opening and closing the card. It looks a lot very nice. And I'm going to position that where I think it's going to go and stick that down like so. So then you've got the card that opens like that and you've got that extra bit there. If you wanted to, you can put a little bit of silver on the back or a bit more backing paper, but I'm just leaving it. So there's my card. That's a nice card on its own. But you know me, I always have to go one step further. I've cut out some toppers from the medium and the small. I'm going to use those on the inside of the card. So again, all I'm going to do with these is just glue them down. Little bit of glue there. You've got wiggle room, so let's get this in the right place. I think that's about right. So it's a bit difficult when you're doing it upside down. And this isn't so hard, it is either. That was for the smutty minded. Let's go in there. Now you could have done those so that one was high and one was low, but I'm going to do a bit more. Higher, lower. Mm. And go there. I'm trying to make it the same. Kind of so it looks the same. Does that look the same? I can't really tell until I turn it around and look at it. 
Yep, that looks right to me. So now you've got the card that opens like that and closes like that. Just going to put my lid on my glue. I don't want that drying out. Now your card you could leave like that if you want. Uh, but I thought it'd be quite nice to put a little sumo kind of belt around it. So all I've taken is a strip of silver card and I've put one of the hook and eye pads there. You can just use glue for the whole thing if you want. And I'm just going to pop that over there. And I'm just going to stick it down there like that, hook and eye it. So then you've got a nice finish to it. Now you can put that where you want. You could have that, let me just slide it down. You can have it just along the bottom there like that if you want, which I think looks quite nice. So there's your cards. So when they come to take it, they can open it like that. And there's the card. So that's just one way of using the screen template using set 16 of the kimono cards.